Well, by now you've probably noticed a cicada invasion here in Kentucky this summer. People are sharing photos and videos online of the noisy bugs annoying them and bothering them. Yeah, you could just hear them out there, right? And while we are in the home stretch of the cicadas tenure here in the bluegrass, some researchers are encouraging folks to be patient with the pest. WKYT's Alexa Mitten has more. Cicadas have been sounding off across the state of Kentucky for a couple weeks now. And while those sounds might bother some, for two researchers here at Center College, it's music to their ears. Everybody is hearing these noises right now, and everybody has their own opinion about the cicadas. Most of them are, you know, neutral to negative. For Center College student Peter Daniel and biology professor Mark Galatowicz, this summer's bourbon brood of cicadas marked the emergence of a unique research opportunity. What we've been doing is monitoring the cicadas here on Center College's campus and also monitoring them out at the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge. The cicadas that we're all hearing right now only come out once every 17 years. So the last time that happened, I was three years old. The next time <laughs> this happens here in Danville is going to be 2042. <laughs> So I'll be 37. The two of them are gathering all the data they can during the periodical cicadas brief time above ground, even monitoring the decibels of sound individual cicadas emit. <laughs> 110. The sounds that you hear are only the males, um, and basically what they're trying to do is be as loud and noisy as possible to attract the female. Center College's campus is more like someone's yard, and so people are more likely to see those cicadas really kind of congregating around a particular tree and they'll take more notice of it. Dr. Galatowicz specializes in the study of insects and Peter is an aspiring entomologist. So the opportunity to learn more about the elusive cicada is one they hope everyone in the state doesn't take for granted. Now each little cicada you find is 17 years old, right? So they spent 17 years in the ground just waiting for this moment, right? For just a few weeks. In Danville, meteorologist Alexa Minton, WKYT. Well, while their research isn't done yet, they shared that they have found cicadas that often prefer trees in open spaces versus those in denser forests. They also told folks to watch out as female cicadas lay their eggs in small leaves and branches in the coming weeks. You might notice some leaves browning on the edges from those eggs.